How you doing? I'm Matt Smith. I'm with Family First Life and I'm going to go over some phone training with you today. Uh, the phone is the most important part of our business. Uh, what you'll find out being newer is 80% of our business is the phone, 15% of the business is our in-home presentation, and 5% of the business is product knowledge. Most agents, when they're starting, spend 80% of their time on 5% of the business. What you need to focus on is becoming very excellent on the phone so you start to get in front of people because you don't have a money problem you have a people problem those are the, the first things that you need to understand as you get into our business I'm gonna go over some introductions on three scripts with you with mortgage final expense and internet and I'm gonna go over some cardinal rules that you need to understand as you start to dial the first thing you need to know is when you dial you need to set your appointments within 48 hours that's gonna eliminate a ton of no-shows uh, and and you want to, you can do it 72 hours, but 48 hours is an ideal time to be getting in front of people, maximizing your show ratios. The second thing I would tell you is when you're making your dials, make sure you dial through your leads. Uh, in regards to dial every phone number on the lead at least twice, and then what you can do is you can go back through your leads and put star six seven and block your line. And what that does is it's amazing they won't pick up the phone when they see a phone number but all of a sudden it's a block line and they'll pick up the number so it's important to, to give yourself every single chance in regards to this business to have people pick up the phone so star six seven is a great way to block your line and create maybe three or four more extra appointments a week for you make sure you're utilizing that tactic as well as when you're getting into the phone script a few of the basic things that you need to focus on every single time because you have to have some fundamentals burnt into your phone script you need to make sure that you get out that you're local and you're not a telemarketer, right? And you need to make sure that they understand that you are getting back to them in regards to a notice they had either signed and sent into you or they had filled out online. So those are some of the important aspects and fundamentals that you need to be aware of as you start to dial on the phone. As far as the phone script and introduction to what we do, I'll go through uh, mortgage first. So these are, these are people that have filled out forms to pay off their home if they were to die. And the phone script would, would start like this. It would be, hi, John, this is Matt Smith. I'm calling you here locally in Clark County, getting back to you in regards to a form you signed and sent to my office to pay off the mortgage if you were to die. The purpose of my call is just to confirm a little bit of information. I have you as a 52-year-old non-smoker. Is that correct? And that is the first time I let them talk. And generally, when they answer that question, I move right to the spouse, if there's a spouse. Now, I have your spouse as a 50-year-old non-smoker. Is that correct as well? Yes. I have your mortgage amount as 215000 Is that correct? Yes. Is that a 30 year loan? Yes, it is. I have your address as 123 Main Street here in Vancouver, Washington. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Great. Now, when you took the time to fill out this form, was it primarily for your to pay off the home for your spouse? Or was it for, you know, if, if it's a single person, what you need to do is you need to identify, is this for a significant other or your adult children? So these are uh, important to figure out why they filled out the form. I filled it out for my spouse. Great. My job is just to get you this information that you requested. What time do you generally get home from work during the week if I'm trying to set the appointment during the week? I get home at 6 o'clock. Okay, great. I don't have a ton of time. I'm dispatched out in your area on Monday. I can probably fit you in between about 6.30 and 7. It takes me maybe 10 or 15 minutes to get you this information you requested, and I'll see you, I'll see you then. Does that sound fair? Yes. And I said, any reason why you and your spouse can't, get, can't be there on Monday between 6.30 and 7? And remember, set time frames so you're eliminating, you know, you having to call them, you don't pick up the phone when you're driving in the house if they call you, and you certainly don't want to be calling and telling them you're going to be late. Just let them know you're extremely busy. Give them a 6.30 to 7 window so you don't feel panic if you're running a little bit late, and they understand that it's going to take some, some time to get out to you. The key element to this whole scenario is selling time. It's going to take me 10 or 15 minutes to get you this information. So in regards to final expense, uh, same scenario. They're going to fill out a form send it back to us, put their age. It's in regards to the new state regulated life insurance program designed for, for you know, Washington citizens or wherever you're located. That's what the lead says. So the phone script is very similar. So the first thing you're gonna say is, you know, this is Matt Smith. I'm calling you here locally with the Benefits Center in Clark County. I'm just getting back to you in regards to this new state regulated life insurance program 
designed for Washington citizens to pay up to $35,000 worth of benefit when you die. You had sent this form to my office and put you as a 67 year old and your spouse as a 65 year old. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I have your address here as 123 Main Street in Vancouver, Washington. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, are you working or are you retired? I'm retired. Okay, no problem. Listen, I don't have a ton of time, but I can probably fit you in tomorrow. They have me dispatched in the area. It takes me about 10 minutes to get you this information. I just quickly verify your health, which I can't do over the phone, to get you this information. And does 2 to 2.30 work for you? Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Just put state regulated life insurance as a topic and I'll see you then. Does that sound fair? Yes. Any reason why you and your wife won't be home between 2 and 2.30 tomorrow? No. Okay, great. My name is Matt Smith. Make sure you write that down on your calendar. I'll see you tomorrow between 2 and 2.30. So that's the, the simple final expense script. One thing I would add to that, a lot of final expense producers just door knock, which is a completely valid and great way to stay in front of people. I think you need to be running final expense leads because you're going to create a lot of daytime appointments for yourself. The, the last thing is internet leads. Internet leads are a great source. Uh, some of my clients that have been the most profitable has, have come from internet leads. The, the doctors, attorneys, the key man policies, the retirement accounts. People generally want to shop on the internet. So if you're not using internet, it's going to be a great source for you as well. In regards to the internet, a couple things that are very important. Number one, I'd recommend if you can do life transfers, that's the most ideal uh, situation for you because you're going to get the client on the phone and you're going to have them captive and it's much easier to set the appointment. Because generally with internet lead companies, they're going to sell it multiple times. So it's important to be first. Uh, make sure that you set up you know, the scenario where you get a text message. If, you're not, if this is not a live transfer, so you can immediately dial the phone number. It's, it's important to be first on internet leads. Always leave messages. I leave messages on mortgage, I leave messages on my final expense, I leave messages on everything. And that's another way to pick up three, four appointments a week just because my clients are calling me back. Uh, the thing I can tell you about internet is when you call them, you just say, hey, this is Matt Smith. I'm calling you here locally in Clark County. I'm just getting back to you about the request for life insurance for 250000 The purpose of my call is to get you to this information. I have you as a 5 foot 11, 230 pound non-tobacco user, is that correct? Yes, and I have your address as 123 Main Street here in Vancouver, Washington. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, I'm a field underwriter. My job is to get you this information. I represent several different companies that will get you the best offer. What time are you generally home from work? Six o'clock. Okay, great. I am dispatched out in your area. It takes me maybe 10 to 15 minutes to verify your health, get you the information you wanted, make sure you, you can qualify. I'm going to be out in your area between about you know, 6, 30, and 7 on Tuesday. Does that work for you? Yes. Now, is there any reason why you and your wife won't be home uh, at between 6.30 and 7? No. Okay, great. My name is Matt Smith. Just put life insurance as the topic. I'll bring out the information. Uh, and, and make sure that you also ask them, you know, are you just looking for coverage on yourself? Are you looking for coverage for your spouse? Uh, I do all types of insurance. And I think it's just being very assumptive. Everything, when it comes to the phone, is being assumptive. And the sooner that you can get through the script and they're answering your questions, the better. When you, when you get in trouble on the phone is when you start to have questions asked back to you. So those are the introduction. Those are the, the basics uh, when it comes to our phone script. And I appreciate listening to, uh, being on our video.